Bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle Tito, je fais des vidéos sur les finances personnelles sur mon autre chaîne, mais sur cette chaîne, je parle d'autres choses comme aujourd'hui où je vais revoir le film A Ghetto Love Story. A Ghetto Love Story is about Obina and Stella, a young couple trying to nurture their love in the ghetto despite the odds life throws at them and the influences of various people around them. This film, A Ghetto Love Story, has been highly anticipated largely because it's executive produced by Bright Okwacha, aka Basket Mouth, and the director of the film has had a pretty good year. It's directed by Daniel Oriahi, and a couple of months ago, he had the film The Weeknd come out in cinemas, and that did really well. It also won a few awards at the AMA Awards. I think it won Best Film, Best Nigerian Film, Best Screenplay, Best Cinematography, and Daniel Oriahi generally is a very good storyteller and director. So between Basket Mouth making this film and, you know, Daniel directing the film, people have been looking forward to this movie, and I'm, I, for one, I'm really glad I've seen it. That said, let's dive into it, beginning with the performance. My homeboy, Aka Nani, he plays the main character, Obina, who is this young guy. He's at waiting admission into the university, but in the meantime, he's working in his dad's uh, carpentry workshop. So he's a carpenter, essentially, right? And Aka does well in this film. I will say, though, that when I think about the ghetto and actors who play characters in the ghetto, I don't think of actors like Aka because Aka is a fresh dude yet, right? But nonetheless, as the movie progressed, Aka got better and better. He got more and more convincing in the role of Obina in this film and at the end of the day I was I was all right with Aka's performance in this movie. I think maybe I was just hoping for a more rugged looking actor but to be honest Aka does a good job. Now Beverly Osu plays his love interest in the film Stella. Beverly Osu she always impresses me when I see her in movies. My main two reference points of her or for her are Oluture the movie and Oluture the series. Beverly's facial expressions always on point, her delivery always on point, and she never disappoints. And I, she was really good in this film. Her character arc was, I think, the best in this movie. I can't say too much about it so as not to give too much away. The chemistry between her character and Aka's character, because they're like love interests in the film, very believable. Now, Dorothy Batcher, she plays Folake in the film. Shout out Dorothy for playing a convincing Yoruba girl. Because Dorothy is not a Yoruba woman in real life, but she plays a Yoruba woman in this film. She had enough scenes and enough dialogue. The last thing I saw Dorothy in was in Brotherhood, which was like two or three years ago. And she didn't have too much screen time in that. But she has a lot more screen time in this film. And it was nice to see her in this movie and her interactions with other actors and characters in this movie. So shout out to Dorothy Batcher. Well done. Shoma Chukuka. The always impressive Choma Chukuka, one of Nollywood's finest, if you ask me. She plays Madame Chassis in this film, and she's one of the neighbors in the neighborhood, right? This character wasn't as feisty or as fiery as some of the other characters I've seen Choma Chukuka play through the years. I really enjoyed her performance. I re really enjoyed her lines. And I really liked the chemistry between her and um, the actor who plays her husband in the film, which is Bethel Unjoku, a.k.a. Senator the Comedian. So they're a married couple in this movie, and their chemistry is very convincing as husband and wife, and, you know, even Senator himself. The fact that he was in a wheelchair, it brought a bit of, it brought something different to the movie and to the character, because you find yourself asking, you know, while you're watching the film, I wonder how this guy wound up in a wheelchair. Honorable mentions to Patience Ozokwa, who is in this film, Ife Irele, who is also in the movie, Jude Chukuma, Femi Jacobs, Wale Ojo, uh, Chimeze Imo, and Basket Mouth himself, who, like I said earlier, appears in a somewhat small role in the movie. And shout out to Norbert Young as well, who is also in the film. Seke Jeme. The production design of this film was impressive. You could tell that they wanted this film to look a certain way, right? And I, th I believe they achieved it. And the way they portray the ghetto or the way they um, capture the ghetto, that's a better word, was not contrived. Because in recent years, Nollywood has done all these a few films and things set in the ghetto. And the ghetto tends to look kind of tacky in some of these projects. But the ghetto doesn't look that way in this movie and i think that was very intentional of them to portray the ghetto in a certain type of way or to not let how it looked overshadow the story that they were trying to tell still on the visuals the lighting of in this film was quite good i liked the use of neon lights and gelled lights and there are a number of scenes that are done at in the at night time and those scenes were adequately lit right and that's it can be a bit challenging 
um, lighting scenes that are outdoors at night but they do that really well in this film the character development in this film was also very good because you have a handful of characters in this film who are integral to the story and what they do with the movie is that they drop little hints and little clues about these characters in different portions of the film so that by the end of the film things make sense no, it's not that a character did something and it, it came out of like left field finally the storytelling i really liked the storytelling it was done in daniel Uriahi's signature way if you ask me because the final act of this movie reminded me of the final act of his 2015 film taxi driver okwa Shewo. yeah the storytelling was really good and when you think about it or when you see the movie you realize that the storytelling had to be good because of the kind of film that this was ce que je n'ai pas aimé um some of the actors in this film looked way older than the characters that they were playing <laughs> for example aka and beverly's characters uh obina and stella those characters were meant to be like 18 19 20 because they are waiting admission in to get into the university right but the actors playing obina and stella i.e aka and uh beverly are well in their 30s so there's a, they felt it felt for me like there was a bit of a disconnect there but i understand and i'm willing to let that slide and to be honest nollywood isn't the first industry to do this type of thing hollywood does it as well where you find much older actors playing younger characters right anyway moving on to the performances in this film the performances were good don't get me wrong but i i felt in some cases like they weren't ghetto enough but then again there are different ways to interpret the ghetto and the ghetto has can have different faces but i just felt like some of the performances weren't ghetto enough however i do i feel like they also when making this film did not really bother with that too much because this film is not necessarily a performance driven film it's a, it's very much a story driven film and it, since that's the case you need not worry too much about the performances qui devrait le voir if you are a fan of basket mouth as an entrepreneur or as a creative then you should definitely go and see this film you see something about basket mouth right he's a maverick he's a leader basket mouth leads the pack and things that he does right they, they tend to be different and they tend to be really good he's very intentional about the type of things he puts out and he tries not to do what everyone else is doing and he's usually very successful at that i mean basket mouth has done stand-up comedy he's done events and shows he's done tv series and web series recently he's been into music i think he just put out an album as well and now he's done a movie so if you followed any of those endeavors and you've been pleased or impressed with any of those things that basket mouth has done then you should definitely see this film as well because it has his his signature on this film too and i think you'll be impressed and you'll see you'll see basket mouth's hand in this movie also I think that if you want to see a film that you can watch with a group of friends or a group of people, so far all these people are above the age of 18 because this film is not for kids, then I think you should see this film, A Ghetto Love Story. It's one of those films that seen as a group will be very entertaining. I saw it in the cinema yesterday, it came out yesterday, Friday, and strangers in the cinema found themselves talking to each other as the movie was progressing because one of those films that has relatable things that are happening on screen, you'll be talking to the person next to you and, you know, trying to understand things or deduce things or just pass commentary was it was fun it was fun all the co side comments and side talk happening as we watched the film finally if you're a fan of daniel uriahis daniel uriahi is a really good director like i mentioned earlier he directed sylvia taxi driver okwa Shewo, and very recently the weekend so if you've seen his work and you like his work then i think you'll like this movie as well and i think just generally if you're looking for something different if you're one of those people who you, you say you don't watch nollywood because everything is the same and it's you know the same faces and the same stories and all that then you should see this film because this film is very different it's not the same faces it's not the same story it's not the same vibe it's quite different and i think you will enjoy it on that account so these are the reasons why i think you should see this film a ghetto love story currently showing in cinemas in conclusion a ghetto love story was a really good watch for me i haven't been to the cinema in a minute but as soon as i remember that this film came out this weekend and you know it's executive produced by basket mouth it's written by his significant other victoria Eze, aka miss vic and directed by the magnificent daniel riahi 
I didn't even think twice. I went to go and watch it at the cinema. But man, cinema prices are steep these days. 7,000 Naira. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. It's now time for me to rate the movie. I rate a ghetto love story. Three Jollofs over five. Three over five. Guys, go and see it in cinemas. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And I don't say this often, right? Don't wait for the film to get on streaming. Basket Mouse is a very shrewd, very savvy businessman. He's going to wait for the best deal he can get before he puts this movie on streaming. Plus, films don't come out on streaming very quickly these days, especially the ones that come out in cinema, right? It takes a while. At Josh Ekpo, which came out in April, which is one of my favorite Nollywood films of the year, came out in April. This is November going into December. This film is still not out on streaming yet. So if you think that this film, A Ghetto Love Story, is going to get on streaming sometime soon, you may find yourself waiting quite a while. So I advise that you put your coins together and try and see it in the cinema before it leaves cinemas. Guys, if you enjoyed this review, I thoroughly enjoyed making it. Please do me a favor and like this video by clicking on the like button just underneath the video and subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the black subscribe button. On this channel, I don't just do Nollywood movie reviews. Sometimes I talk about other things. So check out some of my past reviews. You can click the card in the corner of the screen. Also, check out my review of The Weeknd, which was the film I referenced earlier, which was directed by Daniel Uriahi, which came out a couple of months ago. Am I forgetting to say anything? Okay, quick sidebar. I was on a friend's show recently. The episode came out this weekend. It's called Love and Everything in Between. That's the name of their show slash podcast. And I was a guest and I was talking about dating and how it's hard to date these days. So if you're if you want to learn a little, bit about, a little bit about my dating life, my personal life, then you can head over there to check it out. I'll either link it in the card or I'll put it in the description box down below or in the comments. So look out for that to watch a 15 minute episode where I'm a guest, myself and my friend Uche Chika Elumelu, uh, where we talk about the struggles of single people in the dating market in this day and age. Guys, have you liked? Have you subscribed? Have you shared with a friend? These things are very important. I don't say them just to say them. Liking a video is very important. It helps the video, it helps me, the YouTuber, and it helps with the algorithm. And please share. Guys, I'm the, I mean, the subscriber numbers are not really growing. I want them to grow. Many of you watch and you don't engage, you don't share. You can take a screenshot and put it on your Insta stories, put the link there. Tell a friend, you know, if they're looking to hear whether or not this film, A Ghetto Love Story, is worth their time, send them the link to this review so that they can find out if it's worth their time or not. And this is a spoiler-free review because I don't ruin the movie for anyone. Well, I hope I didn't <laughs> from the things I said in this review. Time for me to bounce, guys. Do all the things. Like, subscribe, check out the other videos I referenced. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.